see if I can, oh! We're gonna see if I can wave. Hey, Brittany! Hi! Hey! Hey, friends! Hi there! Hey, Carrie! <laughs> this is so fun! Welcome to my kitchen. Can I go over the ingredients again? Yes, we are going to do that. Hey, Christine. Oh, Janine, that is my uh, sister-in-law. Hey there. With Isabella is her daughter. Oh, thank you, Brittany. I'm so excited to have you all here. So while everybody's kind of joining, I, um, I made a mistake last week and I forgot to tell everyone to preheat their oven. So if you are watching and you're gonna bake along, let's go ahead and preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Um, that way it should be ready by the time the cookies are made and we can pop them in there. Hey, Isabella. Hi there. So um, Pip asked if I could go over the ingredients really quick. Uh, we have two bananas. I have oats, quick oats or rolled oats, and then some chocolate chips, and anything else that you might want to add. Like, I'm going to add in some raisins. Maybe you have some chopped nuts or craisins. You could add those in there. Hey, friends. <laughs> I like giving out these waves. That's fun. Hey, Miss Chandra. Why is there tin foil on the banana? Thank you, Carrie. That is one of my tips I wanted to show everyone. So a banana, you can see mine are really, really ripe. Whenever you cover the stem of the banana, this is kind of where it breathes, right? So if you kind of cover this up with aluminum foil or even saran wrap, it will slow down the ripening process. Oh, Uncle Mike joined in. That's my husband. <laughs> he must be on his lunch break. So these are actually probably over a week old at this point, and um, they are very ripe, as you can see, versus like this guy here. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that slows down the ripening process. That's a good little tip to kind of extend the life of your bananas. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. We're about three minutes out, or three minutes into it here. So the tools we need, we have our baking sheet, and I lined it with some parchment paper. And for anybody else tuning in, that oven is at 350 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and preheat that to get it going. I have my one cup measuring cup here. I have a fork and a spoon, and I have a little cutting board here, and that is really all we're gonna need. So, the first thing is to start with our bananas. I'm gonna take my aluminum foil off, since these guys are, we're gonna use them up. Whoops. And we're just gonna peel both of the bananas, and we'll place them right here onto our little um, cutting board. Here we go, just like that. Get this other guy, how's everybody doing? Hey, Steven. <laughs> All right, we'll put these over to the side and then we'll take our fork and we're gonna come in here and just start mashing the bananas, just like this, where we wanna keep mashing them until they're about the consistency of uh, baby food, really. So we can have some chunks in there if we want. And now you could smash them in the bowl, but I find it's kind of hard to kind of like chase them around in there and everything. So I just find it's easier if I smoosh them right here on the cutting board. And it's okay if you leave some chunks in there, that'll just make your cookie a little bit more chunky banana, like a chunky monkey, maybe like ice cream. So we're just gonna keep on smooshing here, just like that. Now the thing about the banana, so this cookie really only has three ingredients. No flour, no eggs, no sugar, because the banana acts like the glue, if you will. Like it's really kind of squished, that is a technical term. Um, 
the banana kind of acts like the glue. It gets like kind of sticky and a banana is naturally sweet. So we don't need to add any sugar. And the best thing about this cookie is I think is that I bet your moms and dads are gonna let you eat it for breakfast, right? Who would have thought a cookie that we can all eat for breakfast? And mom and dad might actually steal some too, so you better watch out. You might wanna count them, how many we end up making today. So we're just gonna keep on smushing here. How's everybody doing? You're all keeping up? Am I going too fast, too slow? You all just let me know. There we go. All right, I think that looks pretty good. So we're gonna dump it right into the bowl here. And then we'll set this off to the side and bring this in a little bit closer. So we actually need a one cup, a cup and a half of oats. So I have my oats here. We're gonna sprinkle one full cup in there, right into the bowl. And then for a half a cup, you could use another spoon, but I say, why get it dirty, right? So we're going to come in here. Oh, oh fine. Oh, good, good, good. Isabella is cooking, yay! So for this, we're just going to add in half. We're just not gonna fill it all the way up to the top. And we're just gonna guess, right? That's close enough in there. Pop it in. And then here's where this recipe becomes your very own. You get to decide what other ingredients you wanna add in here. I like chocolate chips. Uncle Mike, he loves chocolate. So we're gonna come in here. I've got one. I'm gonna do two big scoops, two big scoops right in there. And raisins because good source of fiber. We all need a little fiber, right? And that's gonna make this cookie even healthier. I know, I know, but we gotta do it. So I'm gonna add in some raisins. You could add in, let's see, I think I said maybe like some chopped nuts, raisins, uh, peanut butter. You could add um, maybe like a quarter cup of peanut butter in here. If you wanted really chocolatey cookies, you could do like a tablespoon of cocoa powder. That'll make them super chocolatey. Or like my friend Nelson last week, he added sprinkles to his pretzel bites. Genius, so creative. So this is what, um, this is where you get to decide what you put in here. After you have all your ingredients, we're just gonna stir it up. And we're gonna keep mixing until we have everything nice and combined. We want those oats to be really covered with the um, banana. All right, so I'm just gonna keep mixing and stirring so many options oh cinnamon yes another great addition i love seeing those very good yeah anybody else have anything send it over i like to make these cookies and then keep them in an air airtight container and then we can just you know eat them the rest of the uh, rest of the week they're really good if oh maple syrup you could add maple syrup in here or honey if you want them a little bit sweeter they're really good the next day if you pop them in the microwave for like 10 or 15 seconds and uh, you can get them kind of warm and you can eat them maybe with some yogurt or anything at all. All right, so everybody has them all mixed up there. Mine's looking pretty, pretty stuck together here. So I think we are about ready to get these onto our cookie sheet. So we're just gonna use the same spoon here. I'm gonna take I don't know, this is like a heaping tablespoon. This is kind of a big spoon. And let me see if I can, where can I get this here so y'all can see it. There we go. And I'm just gonna kind of scoop it right on here. And using your hands in the back of your spoon, whoops, there we go. We're just gonna kind of press it into a ball, just like that. So I'm gonna kind of, you guys work on that. I'm gonna reset here so that y'all can see what the heck I'm doing. Move this over, move this, there we go, there we go. This is kind of a, a new setup for me here, so thank you for working with me. It's uh, one and a half, oh, how many cups of oats? Yes, one and a half cups of oats, and you can just eyeball, it doesn't need to be too exact. Thank you there for helping me out. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna kinda keep spooning here. And I hope everyone's ovens, mine's getting up there. It's pretty good. So these were just, they're kind of a free form cookie. They don't need to be exact or perfect. Um, we're just gonna eat them up later anyway, right? Maybe eat them before lunch, since we're in the lunchtime hour here in Knoxville. 
There we go. Oh, I just remembered. I forgot rule number one of the DeSocio kitchen. We gotta wash those hands. I hope everybody washed their hands. I gave that tip last week. I um, I can't believe I forgot that. I washed mine right before I turned on the phone here, so I'm good to go. But that's an important tip um, to make sure that we all do, right? Okay, so I'm going to do, now these cookies are not going to grow in the oven. They're gonna stay exactly the shape that they are, all right? So we can kind of pick it up. They can be kind of close together. Just like that. You just kind of like mush them around. You know, I like a free form cookie. There we go. There we go. Just keep smushing, smushing. You're good, good. Ooh, marshmallows. Great idea, Addy. That is a good one. I love it. All right, I'm gonna do one more. Here we go. He's kind of a big one. We'll save that one for Uncle Mike. <laughs> okay. All right, does everybody have their cookies kind of formed into a shape? Here we go. I think there's a little bit of a delay, so I'm just gonna hang on one second here and just kind of keep making these others a little bit bigger. My favorite Disney movie, oh. Little Mermaid. Or, oh wait, actually, classic Disney movie, I'm going um, Mary Poppins all the way. I love her. Um, newer Disney movies, I gotta go, I gotta go Little Mermaid. I don't know, I like Ariel, you know, red hair, she's a fish, she's a, I just, I just love it. I love it. Okay, so, looks yummy and easy, very good. Okay, so I'm gonna pop mine into the oven. I'm just gonna pop right over there, and then I'm gonna run back. Um, where our oven's at 350 degrees and we are going to bake these for probably eight to 10 minutes. I'm going to set my timer for eight because my oven cooks really, really fast and I don't want to burn these because I want to eat one for lunch. So I'm going to set my timer and now I'm going to go run and pop these in and oh, Mary Poppin returns. I love that one too. I love all the poppins, you know, they're just like fun and the music and okay, stand by. I'll be right back. Okay, got it. Did everybody else get theirs into the <laughs> so exciting? I know these are fun. Okay, did everybody else get theirs into the oven? We'll see what y'all got for me there. Everybody doing okay? All right, now one of the most important parts of cooking is we have to clean up as we go. I know it's not the most fun part, but I'm going to take everything and pop it right into my bowl here. And we're gonna take and place it all into our sink, right? Because that's just part of it. We all have to clean up and uh, put everything away to help mom and dad stay organized in the kitchen. You know, slow down. Am I going too fast, Addie? I'm sorry. What is my favorite animal? I got to give it to the kitty cats. I have two kitty cats, an Oliver and a Vivian are my two. I'm going to take and throw my bananas away. If you have a compost pile, you could do that. And let's see, favorite football player. I'll have to get back to you on that. <laughs> okay, so now we have those in the oven and I have about six minutes left on my timer. So I thought, what could I do to fill six minutes of time, right? I thought, well, we could have a dance party, right? We could crank up the tunes, give it some music, but I'm a really bad dancer. So, favorite color, oh, well, Growing up, my favorite color was always purple. And, um, you know, I still like purple. It's fun, happy color. Um, so, yeah, I like purple. I'm still gonna stick with it. So, okay, what I thought I would do is a little activity you all can watch. I know I didn't give you any, um, any idea what I was gonna do today. 
But I thought maybe this is something that you could, oh, you like purple too, yay. Um, what I thought I would do, I'm gonna try to build a house out of grapes. I've never done this before. I just saw it online, kid activities in the kitchen. And I thought maybe this was something that you all could do later. You know, I'm just gonna build a small house and maybe you can build a big house. But I have some grapes, I've washed them off here. Uh, favorite country, who ah, I gotta say I love, I loved Italy. That was one of our favorite trips, but I also love Thailand. It was so unique in the buildings and the people are so kind um, that, I don't know, I like something about every place that we go, um, but Italy, the Italians, they know how to do the food, you know? All right. Okay, so here is my, I've got some grapes. Now here's the thing about grapes though. Um, we can't waste food. So as many grapes as you use to build the house, you gotta eat them, right? That's the deal. So I'm gonna eat all these. So I'm just gonna take and, I don't know, I'm not a very good architect. So we're gonna see if I can um, get this to work out, right? So here we go. I'm gonna put these guys in here. Now if you didn't have grapes, you could use, oh, thank you. Um, if you didn't have grapes, you could use cherry tomatoes. Um, you could use blueberries. What else? Oh, my girlfriend yesterday when I ran this idea by her, she said that her son ate all the grapes, but she could cut some Cheeto puffs. So I thought that was also a brilliant idea. Okay, so I have the base of my house here. Let's keep going. Second, this is a second story house. My favorite color, oh, that's Isabella. I, I've got some more purple. I've got a lot of purple friends. I love that. Okay, all right, where do I go next? All right, who thinks they can, do y'all, um, marshmallows. Ooh, as a good addition. Oh, you could use marshmallows to build the house. Yes, that is another good idea. See, I knew y'all could help me out here. So I, whenever I was in high school, we had shop class where they would actually let us work <laughs> with power tools, <laughs> um, which I think is funny. And I remember we had to build a house to do that um, in shop class. So here I am all these years later, just turned 40. Blue, love that. That I think is Addie with uh, my my friend with all the chickens, she has 13 chickens and she gives me some of her eggs sometimes and I use those. Um, I use them up, so here we go. All right, whoa, whoa, he's not, he's not very stable. Clearly I don't, I don't have this leveled out just right. <laughs> okay, so we gotta, we gotta give our house a roof, right? House is not complete without a top. Okay, this is where it's gonna get really tricky, all right? Maybe could use a second set of hands here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Who thinks this is actually gonna stand? Anybody? Do you have anybody thinks it's actually gonna stay up? All right, here we go. All right, look at that. I just built a grape house. Whoa. <laughs> All right, so that was my like, little activity for y'all there. Um, but like I said, now we get to eat the grapes. <laughs> okay, so I have about two and a half minutes left. Does anybody smell their cookies going? I do, I smell the chocolate melting. Mm-hmm, you do? I know, I cannot wait to eat one of them. Maybe when it comes out, I'll drizzle a little bit of honey on top. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. And I, um, last week, whenever everybody made the pretzel bites and you all sent me all those pictures, it made me so happy. I loved seeing, um, I loved seeing everybody's creations and how they all turned out. Do I food blog full time? No, I do not. I act. I have. Um, I have a job Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, where I do marketing and graphic design and website stuff. So, 
food blogging is just a fun hobby for me and I like doing it because I get to hang out with um, other people who like to drive or I me mean, <laughs> drive I was reading mics <laughs> other people who like to cook I just I think it's a lot of fun syrup I could definitely yeah put on some maple syrup I think that would be good um, so what I want to know what other things you all might like to cook Right, so maybe um, I have some other ideas, but I would love your input if there's anything that you guys might like to make. You can you can send me a little message down here in the comment box, or you can send it to me after. Um, I um, I like doing these, and I think you guys enjoy doing them too. Um, so if so, you can just let me know, and we'll keep coming up with some ideas. Um, oh, so. The other day, I wanted to show you all this. I It was my birthday on Wednesday, and I turned 40 years old, and I decided I was going to make a, um, ooh, lemon bars. I'm in. Yes. Pancakes. Everyone likes pancakes. But I wanted to show you, so I made myself a birthday cake. This is the very first time I've ever like made myself um, a three-layer cake. Look at this. It, does it look like a pine? Does it look like a pineapple? It's so pretty. I didn't want to cut into it, so I haven't even eaten the slice of my cake yet. <laughs> oh, there's my timer. Oh, peanut butter balls. Easter. Ooh. Okay, we're getting some. We're getting some hits on the lemon bars. I'm with you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go and grab my cookies out of the oven. Stay right there. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Time me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whoop, nine. <laughs> they almost slid right off the whole pan. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. So here's what they kind of, they just kind of, they're a little bit crumbly, but ooh, it's so hot. Oh, I'm just gonna try a little bite of it. But see the banana, it gets kind of like sticky and whenever you heat it up it, whew, these are hot, they're burning my fingers, burning my fingers. Ooh, yum, you see that steam? <laughs> they look so good. Mm, mm, mm. You know, for a healthy cookie, these are good. These are really good. Are anybody else's coming out of the oven? I would love to know what you think. How are they doing? So pretty. Are anybody, are yours coming? How are yours turning out, Pip? Pip herself is a baker. Her name there, Pip Sweet Treats. She has a little bakery and she makes some really cute desserts. She actually brought me um, cupcakes for my birthday on Wednesday, which I thought was so sweet. Yes. The bananas are just like glue. They're like all sticky and everything. So, um, I hope everybody's cookies are turning out. Um, oh, yours just went in. Okay, perfect. That's good. <laughs> yes, I love, I actually, I um, tried one of Pip's um, cupcakes and they were so good. They have like honey and cream cheese and mm, delicious. Also that I got to save my cake, so. Anyway, or just came out, gonna let them cool. Good idea, yeah, for the little fingers. They're kind of hot. But anyway, if they're, um, I've got lemon bars. I'm gonna see if I can find, um, if I can come up with an easy, quick lemon bar. I think that was a good idea, especially for Easter. Um, but if you have anything else, um, any other ideas, feel free to send me a message. And, um, We'll do another one sometime. So I hope everybody is having a good time and having fun hanging out with um, mom and dad and doing schoolwork at home. Um, so anyway, thank you all so much for tuning in and I hope you have a great rest of the day and a wonderful weekend.